Hi students, today we will discuss about the industrial methods of preparation of alcohols. In this first one is uh, from starch. From starch. The preparation of uh, alcohol from starch and uh, molasses. From starch and molasses. Here the method used for the industrial preparation is called as fermentation process. Here the method is uh, called as fermentation process. Here what is fermentation means? A big complex organic molecules converting into small molecules. A big organic complex molecules converting into small molecules with the help of biocatalysts. Here biocatalyst means they are enzymes. So the big complex organic molecules conversion into a small molecules small and simple molecules is called as a fermentation process in this fermentation process uh, we use bio catalyst for this process those bio catalysts are uh, generally enzymes and in the fermentation process suppose first we are taking molasses here uh, what is this molasses molasses means it is a mother syrupy liquid which is left after the crystallization of sugar from sugarcane juice. Okay, it is a syrupy liquid. This is a syrupy liquid which is left over after the crystallization of all possible sugar. And this is generally C12H22O11. This C12H22O11 is mixed with water means it is actually contains 20 to 30 percent of sugar so it is diluted first and uh, after adding water we are adding yeast to this here yeast contains uh, two enzymes one is called as invertage and the second one is called as zymage the invertage enzyme converts uh, this sucrose solution or molasses solution into C6H12O6 plus C6H12O6. This is called as glucose and this is called as fructose. So both have same formula. Why you are calling this glucose? Why this is fructose? They have difference in the structure. They have difference in the structure and functional groups also. We will study later about the glucose and fructose structures. So we are getting two molecules, glucose and fructose. And in the next step, the glucose and fructose, any one of this is taken. C6H12O6 is taken and the enzyme zymage, this is called as zymage enzyme, which is present in yeast. So this enzyme is converting this into C2H5OH plus CO2. So C2H5OH and ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide is formed. When the fermentation is completed means in CO2 gas bubbling if observed from the reaction vessel, if CO2 gas bubbles are coming out, then fermentation is completed. Okay. And here we are getting only very very less percentage, 5 to 10 percent of ethyl alcohol only. This is on uh, distillation. This is on distillation process or on fractional distillation finally we will get uh, C2H5OH which is a uh, 95% 95% this ethyl alcohol is called as a rectified spirit this is known as rectified spirit this rectified spirit on distillation in the presence of calcium oxide directly we can't go for it the rectified spirit forms an azeotropic mixture. Azeotropic mixture means uh, you studied in solution chapter a constant boiling point mixture. The 95.6% ethyl alcohol and 4.4% water mixture is formed. That is azeotropic mixture. So that is uh, not directly distilled. Azeotropic distillation is conducted by the quick lime followed by the reaction by the distillation with calcium or sodium metal. We will get C2H5OH which is 100%. This 100% ethyl alcohol is called as a absolute alcohol. This is known as absolute alcohol. The absolute alcohol is formed finally 
or azeotropic distillation process is also conducted by mixing excess of benzene by mixing excess of benzene also we can conduct this process even finally we will get the same ethyl alcohol 100% which is called as absolute alcohol okay this is one process that is from molasses the same mechanism or same steps we have actually but uh, it is a starch molasses means sugar cane juice starch means uh, from starch grains potato wheat maize or uh, starch any starch material is taken it is crushed into finely powder and then the starch contain c6h10o5 this is called as starch okay this is starch is uh, mixed with water and molecules of water is taken then we will get here c6 h12o6 the c6 h12o6 is formed this c6 h12o6 sorry c12 h22o11 is formed same same type of c12 h22o11 is formed and this solution furtherly dissolved in yeast same process will occurs okay but for the conversion of uh, this starch grains uh, into this uh, solution we are using an enzyme diastase this diastase is not present in the yeast this is present in the malt malt is added to the starch powder and water mixture and this malt contains an enzyme here what we are taking malt the malt contains an enzyme diastase that malt uh, converts the so starch into maltose here it is called as maltose we can call this as maltose and this maltose is converted to glucose or fructose means the same from same we can get and this uh, yeast contains a uh, invertase enzyme again and here sorry not invertase here we are getting maltase enzyme the enzyme maltase is used and uh, after glucose or fructose formation again yeast uh, contains another enzyme again here it is same enzyme that is zymase enzyme so whenever we are taking starch grains or starch powder the starch powder is first wa washed with water and starch solution is prepared that is mixed with malt containing diastase enzyme that diastase enzyme converts the starch into maltose and this maltose is converted into either glucose or fructose by the enzyme maltase in present in yeast and this glucose or fructose by the enzyme zymase which is present also in yeast is converted to ethyl alcohol c2h5oh ethyl alcohol and co2 is formed same process will occurs so the second step is same for uh, both but first step only here we are taking sucrose solution or molasses solution here we are taking starch and in this process uh, the fermentation is mainly conducted in acidic medium to provide acidic medium or to maintain ph at 4 here for this process to maintain ph value at 4 we are adding sulfuric acid to the entire solution or to the reaction vessel and to grow yeast we are adding ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate or ammonium phosphate is added nh4 taken thrice po4 ammonium sulfate or ammonium phosphate are added which acts as a feed or it is a food for yeast okay and finally after 2 to 3 days this works totally 2 to 3 days uh, will take up for this process after 2 to 3 days by maintaining at room temperature conditions then the complete fermentation process and after that we are getting ethyl alcohol and this ethyl alcohol is converted to 100% ethyl alcohol by fractional distillation first and then azeotropic distillation it gives the 100% absolute alcohol or ethyl alcohol this is industrial preparation of ethyl alcohol but in this process there is some drawback drawback means actually 
whenever uh, they are preparing in industry what happens is some labs which are addicted for alcohols which drinks alcohols normally are also consuming the alcohol which is produced in industry so the labor the workers which are working at that uh, place are directly taking that alcohol which is produced here in the industrial process and they are consuming or they are taking that so industrialist found a different way to prevent that process and here they had done that uh, denaturation here it is called as the denaturation process denaturation process means uh, this is called as which is unfit the process of making unfit for drinking unfit for drinking so if this is not useful for drinking means uh, the prepared ethyl alcohol is not fit for drinking how we can make it as unfit for drinking not useful for drinking by adding some other materials or some other ingredients which are harmful when we drink so what they will do is they will convert into two types of uh, denatured alcohols the process is called as denaturation and that is called as a denatured alcohol the formed alcohol is called as denatured alcohol in that first one is called as mineralized the first one is called as mineralized rectified spirit the mineralized rectified spirit and this mineralized rectified spirit contains 90% ethyl alcohol plus 9% methyl alcohol plus 1% di any purple di or any di is taken why we are using di means if we are adding di it will get color if there is a color for the alcohol then at least uh, the workers will identify it is colored means it is mixed with methyl alcohol methyl alcohol is a highly poisonous and highly dangerous if you take in small amounts of methyl alcohol immediate blindness will comes if you take in large quantities it leads to death also so after adding this 9% methyl alcohol they will add 1% purple dye or uh, any dye or pyridine or any other compound is added then immediately that is uh, clearly indicating it is not fit for drink okay and second type is uh, industrialized or industrial industrial rectified spirit industrial rectified spirit here industrial rectified spirit means uh, the mineral rectified spirit means 90% industrial means uh, 95% ethyl alcohol here it has 95% ethyl alcohol and 5% methyl alcohol and a very few amount of dye so a small traces of dye is added this is industrial rectified spirit what is the purpose of making this mineralized or industrial rectified spirit means to make it as denaturation means which is unfit for drinking okay this is about uh, industrial methods of preparation of uh, ethyl alcohol the second industrial method that is a methyl alcohol preparation methyl alcohol this methyl alcohol is also called as wood spirit the methyl alcohol is also known as wood spirit here how we can prepare methyl alcohol means 
CO plus H2 plus H2. Why H2 and H2 again? Why can't we write 2H2? We can write it, but CO plus H2 mixture is called as water gas. The water gas mixture we are taking, the water gas and hydrogen mixture, when we are taking in the presence of a catalyst zinc oxide and chromium trioxide, a mixture of zinc oxide and chromium trioxide at 200 to 300 atmospheres pressure, 573 to 673 Kelvin temperature, the reaction is conducted, then we are getting methyl alcohol, which is also called as wood spirit. Why it is called as wood spirit means by the destructive distillation of wood, we are getting this uh, methyl alcohol. Okay, this is another method. Methyl alcohol is more poisonous and more dangerous. Better to avoid this uh, methyl alcohol. If it is uh, for drinking purpose, we can use only ethyl alcohol. Even in that, less concentration of ethyl alcohol is only used. And by mixing of water only, we can drink that. Otherwise, directly if they are drinking, they directly affects the liver and kidneys. Okay.